been around for 158 years ish <laughs> so we've been around quite a long time um historically based in the black country but uh, more more recent years making sort of growing that national pre presence throughout sort of our mortgage side of the business as well um still have five branches based around the black country area um four or five people based in each branch so we've got about 100 just under 100 people um between our principal office and our branch network I joined as a HR assistant and worked my way up to HR manager. So I now manage a very, very small team, just uh, recruited a new person, so we're a team of two now. Um, and yeah, managing everything really from, or everything to do with HR now. So it needed to obviously be able to hold the data, manipulate the data and report on the data. The biggest thing that we were looking for was a self-service facility. We really wanted to be able to get that back into the business, have managers be able to monitor the holiday absence and everything and actually get that into a streamlined system where there's sort of one version of the truth for everything and we can monitor it from a central record rather than having managers have different records and different ways of, of operating within their, their teams. Um, sector specific we're highly regulated so making sure that we have got performance management records that are accurate they do what they need to do we need to be able to assess the, the fitness and propriety of all of our people make sure they are fit and proper to work within financial services and assessing performance is a massive issue um, and making sure you've got the, the right record keeping around that so sort of sector specific it is making sure that we have got accurate records of everything really. So there, what really attracted me to Cypher was the front end, so the Cypher net, the employee um, self-serve facility, making sure that was really user friendly. I mean, at the time we were going through a massive period of change, so trying to get people bought into something new that you were doing was really important. So making sure that that system was user friendly was really important. And then on the flip side, on the other side of that, customer service was just um, second to none in comparison to anybody else that I spoke to. Even daft things like holiday, um, you know, different managers have different ways of, of controlling how their team took holiday, what their entitlements were. So, um, even from something as basic to that, to be able to produce full MI packs that report on absence rates and your standard HR suite of MI, um, it's not something we ever were able to report on. So, being able to automate all of that process, just get the information at, at your fingertips, really, and be able to give the business the, the information it needs to be able to operate. Brilliant, yeah, sort of, I've done a few system implementations since Cypher and they are really sort of cut above the rest in terms of your implementation processes, um, right through from sales to post implementation. Yeah, so that was another process that we we, must, we had to modernise, so our previous payroll system um, was very manual. Um, so we so now it is as simple as it's click as a button, it takes the data, uh, RSM process that for us and then we look at our validation reports, make sure everything's right and sign it off and then RSM are able to link everything back into the Cypher system so pay slips for example go straight into there and we don't really have to worry about it. Yeah, so the Cypher system holds all of the job and pay details, um, we then export that um, through the pay link. Uh, RSM then pick up the, the pay link data and that gives them everything they need then to be able to run the payroll. Um, they send us then the validation reports and we can approve it on that basis. Once your job and pay records are up to date in terms of what you need to output for, for the payroll, the pay link then is just a case of clicking a button, making sure the data that it's exporting is fine. Once you're happy with that, you click it again and off it goes. Yeah, so the total reward statement again went down really well within society, all part of the employee engagement piece. So what total reward statements did was show people actually there, are, there is more than just your basic salary and I think that was a really good tool. We incorporate any learning development spend, any professional development spend in there as well. So you can really see a broader picture. Yeah, so the flexibility of having sort of custom fields, for example, um, where we've got, we've used that to assess our fitness and propriety. So again, being a regulated industry, we need to make sure that all of our, our uh, members of staff are fit and proper. Um, the introduction of the senior management regime um, was aimed to strengthen the accountability in banking, which put an extra emphasis on making sure that we were assessing the fitness and propriety of our people. So what we were able to do with Cypher is create custom fields that allow people to go in through the self-service and declare and make an annual declaration of their fitness and propriety, which was easily reported on then. We, could, we were able to collect all of that information and do our checks from there without relying on a manual process. 
Siphon Mobile, and um, we've rolled that up probably about six months ago. Again, from an industry specific point of view, that's really helped us with our business continuity planning. So that's allowed us to, if anything did happen and we were to prepare for the worst, that we can make sure that we've got all of our policies at hand on our mobiles, we've got all of our contact details at hand. So if we did ever need to escalate a message, um, we haven't got the reliance on our systems and we have got another backup there. Um, so with mobile as well, just from an employee engagement perspective, it does mean that they can check their holidays and do various other bits and pieces and we're still having requests now. Um, so, you know, can you show me how to set it up and things like that and it is brilliant. So that it's gone down really well with staff as well. You haven't, you ha you're not relying on data from spreadsheets, you're relying on data from one central system and everything is pulled from that system so it is really streamlining that from what you do within the HR function to what the business sees. Looking back now, it's, it's an absolute no-brainer. It fits within the society perfectly. It allows managers to maintain and record information that if you hadn't got a HR system, um, it, it just takes it to a complete different level in terms of reporting from a HR background. It does everything you need it to do. If it's in the system, you can get it out of the system. So it, it's an absolute no-brainer. I genuinely couldn't function without it at the minute. <laughs>